Hello, John Shaughnessy here. Hope you guys can uh, tune in on the 27th, 29th of March. We're having a, uh, a great uh, online conference, a lot of speakers, great, great minds. And uh, I'll be talking about, uh, you know, things that I'm familiar with. I've written books on the moon and the pyramids, I have another book in the works. And uh, I'm going to go over a, uh, you know, a, a possible dating of GP1 using the symbol that's in the main entrance, the original main entrance. And that sign is Gemini. We're looking at like 8,000 years ago when the sun was rising in Gemini. So we're going to get into that a lot deeper. Obviously, it's in contrast with the Orion uh, shaft theory that, you know, pointed these stars for less than a half an hour, you know, every 26,000 years compared to something that's carved in stone. So I think I got some evidence here that's going to, you know, uh, I can present a, uh, a decent argument towards. Also, we're talking about the, uh, you know, I was in Egypt last year. We talked about the unfinished obelisk. Come to find out that it's also pointed, uh, it's pointed four degrees south where the, the rising sun is today. But I, I also located 52 drill hole marks, which signify the weeks of the uh, year right now. And um, this is a very old photo. I don't know if you can see a donkey there. And it's, it hasn't even been excavated. You know, the sand hasn't been removed which is true research. You get the oldest pictures. So nobody is screwed with anything. So you can actually do some, uh, you know, detective work. But anyways, that actually lines up with the uh, rising sun today, you know, in the uh, summer solstice. So uh, in the Northern hemisphere. So I'll get into talking about that. Um, we're gonna get into the images on the moon. You know, we're gonna still keep, you know, get into uh, what the meanings are, who put them up there. Um, I found a few more images. I'm locating images, you know, as I do my research and and uh, trying to put some uh, meaning to it. That's in my book, and uh, and I'll be going into uh, where the tools possibly are located around the globe that were used to uh, build a lot of these megaliths. Uh, you know, most of these places are protected, so I feel I can, you know, talk about uh, my theories on where the tools are located without having them being uh, robbed or, you know, things being destroyed, trying to find out if they're there or not. Uh, so anyway, it's going to be an interesting uh, you know, weekend. Uh, again, I hope to see everybody, or I hope to hear, you know, hear a lot of my friends and uh, colleagues uh, tune in and, you know, get get this, uh, get the show on the road, you know. COVID's on the way out. It's time for us to come back in again. All right. Have a good, uh, have a good weekend, or, you know, evening whatever you're into right now and uh hope to see you on the 27th and 29th peace out